This is Coral. You already knew that because you watched the previous episode of Ecology 180, which started like this. This is Coral. And ended with a subtle hint that maybe the world's coral reefs aren't quite as healthy as we might like. This is Earth. You already knew that because you live here. The Earth's surface is roughly 71% ocean. While that might seem like a lot of space for coral to choose from, they're actually quite picky. Corals do best in temperatures between 26 and 27 degrees Celsius, which mostly limits them to the tropics. On top of that, since the symbiodinium living inside the coral need light for photosynthesis, coral reefs tend to form less than 50 meters from the ocean's surface, where it's nice and bright. In total, coral reefs cover less than one-tenth of one percent of the ocean's surface area. In spite of that, coral reefs are home to one quarter of the ocean species, making them one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. While there have been wildly different estimates of how much money the coral reef ecosystem is worth to humans every year, everyone basically agrees that it's a pretty big number. More importantly, as home to 25% of the ocean species, coral reefs are essential to global biodiversity. In other words, if coral reefs disappear, we can't say for sure what other things will go along with them. Since we are a species that depends on the ocean for all sorts of different ecosystem services, one could argue that we might, in fact, be one of those other things. So when we talk about dangers to coral reefs, we're also talking about dangers to humans. In case you're still not convinced of the importance of coral reefs, I'll give you a few seconds to just sit here and watch. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>